Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on how to delete the row in one table and insert the same row in another table by using trigger. I suppose to use DML trigger in this scenario. The requirements we have while doing this operation is the schema and structure of two tables will be shown. Schema and structure of two tables should be similar. Otherwise, you cannot you cannot delete and insert the same row in other table. Here I am creating two tables. The first table I am creating here. table course 1 table here i have only two columns id integer and a name name of the course name here where char sum 10 i am giving so this is my table first if you select the table you don't have any records Course one, we don't have any records. See, now I want to create one more table with the same structure. For that, I am taking select star into course two table. This is new table from course one. Just now we created the table course one. And I want only structure. Anyhow, there is no data. For that, I am taking in where condition some false condition. One is equal to zero. I am giving some false condition to create new table with a similar structure. Zero rows affected. If you check the table, so two tables are created. But here, uh, here we don't have any data in two tables. Now I am supposed to insert 6 rows in the course 1 table. Insert into course 1 values. First instruction I am taking here my SQL. And second one I am taking here as Python. Third one, Java, fourth one here I am taking, MongoDB, and fifth one here, NoSQL. Last one, last one here I am taking is Salesforce. So here I am inserting six rows, that is six values I am inserting from this uh, in course one column. Now, now I am going to write the one trigger function, DML trigger to delete the first record from the MySQL and insert the same record in the course 2 table. Right now we don't have any any data in course 2. So now I am going to write the trigger function. Other window I am taking is create trigger delete underscore trigger which is my name of the trigger so i want to apply this trigger on course one cou or course one table so next for what for we are using we are creating this trigger for delete for delete 
as as is the keyword so now i am declaring two variables declare id int comma next one at name name here uh, data type is var char 10 so i uh, i declared two variables now i am going to read the data for deletion and pass the data values into this variable select at id that means it is my variable name and what is the column name here for in course one its id at id we are mapping with the id and second one is here at name at name here mapping with name from delete delete here is ma magic table from delete begin and end so in between i am writing the insert statement into course 2 table insert into cou rsc course 2 values so whatever we declare the um, and variables we need to pass those variables at id comma at name so after deleting the uh, course one table these two rows those rows deleted rows are inserted into this course two table that's all so this is how you need to create the syntax for trigger I am including this one. So, trigger has been created successfully. Now, I am used to write the delete command here. Delete, as I mentioned earlier, I want to delete the record number one. Delete from, delete from course one, where id is equal to one. So I am deleting this one. You see here, I, I have deleted the ID one, but you, have, you see the messages here. One row affected, one row affected. This one for deletion from course one, and this one for insertion for in into the course two table. Now you ch check your table. Again you rerun this select table, course one table. You won't find ID one with the MySQL name, course name. You will, you will see the first record in the course table with 1 and my sequence. So this is how you need to write your trigger for deletion purpose from, uh, from for deleting one row from one table and inserting into into same record into other table. So once again I am repeating, I am creating the trigger, delete trigger, nothing but DML trigger. So on you, you need to specify the table name for for which operation you need to uh, creating the trigger here i am creating for delete so as so i am declaring two variables i am uh, reading the data from original table to into this variable and this is the magic table we can read the data from the magic table after declaring our operation for delete it will be created if you updated the insert it will if you, uh, if you created a trigger for insert, then you, for insert you need to mention here for for inserting purpose one magic table created. Now we are using we are creating the trigger for deletion purpose. So this is the magic table. We can read the data from this magic table and pass those values into this declared variables. Later in begin and end you need to write in insert statement insert into your table two. So values. I am passing the, those two variables. After that, you need to delete the whichever record you want from the table. 
so immediately trigger is fired and it will insert the row into this second table so this is this is how you need to create trigger for deleting the row and inserting the same row into other table thanks for watching the video thank you very much